Hey guys, it's your boy back at it again with another DIY. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'm not saying that this is my crazy unique idea that I thought of completely on my own or anything. Um, I've definitely seen this design just like around on like YouTube, I don't know, Depop, Instagram, somewhere, but um, basically I want to safety pin a design on the back of like a jacket. And I, okay, so I had this t-shirt listed on my Depop because it doesn't fit me anymore. I just like shrunk it too much and it's too small for me now. I love this design, but I was gonna sell this t-shirt because it doesn't fit me. But then something clicked in my head and I was like, wait a second, I am the queen of repurposing t-shirts. So why don't I cut out this design and do something cool with it? So that is what we're gonna do today. So this one is a pretty simple one. I'm actually surprised I've never done this before, but if you want to follow along and you want to do this too, all you're gonna need is scissors and a bunch of safety pins, of course, and your old t-shirt that you don't want anymore, but it has a cool design. And then the jacket or shirt or whatever that you're gonna spice up a bit, I guess. I'm gonna go with this army jacket. I've had this forever and I love this jacket and it's awesome. Yeah, I've literally had this for like, I don't know, 10 years. It's just a really simple army jacket, just a staple in my wardrobe, I guess, but I think it would be cool to add something to the back um, just to kind of make it a little bit more special. So yeah, I got this t-shirt from an artist that I found on Instagram called Sarah Thursday. Um, if you like this type of art style, you should definitely consider checking her out because her designs are just so amazing. Um, she always comes up with new ones and stuff. I got this one a pretty long time ago, so it's probably not available anymore, but she has a lot of designs in really similar styles that are really awesome. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut out my design and then basically just choose where I want it on the jacket and line it up and then put it on with all of the safety pins. Hopefully I don't run out of safety pins. He's here to help me again. As always, Okay, so it's on there. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome. This shirt that I cut up um, also has this little thing on the sleeve that I think looks kind of nice, so I'm actually going to cut that out as well and find something to do with it. So there's that. Um, I actually don't know what this says, so <laughs> if any of you guys know what this says, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it. I think it might be kind of cool to just put this on the sleeve and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and instead of doing the safety pin thing again, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sew this one on. Okay, so that is it. I'm pretty much done. I have this little thing right here and then the patch on the back with all the safety pins. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm definitely glad that I didn't give away that t-shirt or sell it on Depop, whatever, because I think it looks pretty awesome on this jacket and I really like that design, so I'm glad I kept it. So yeah, you guys, that was a pretty simple one, but I really wanted to try it out and I figured why not film my process. I know that other people have definitely done this DIY. It's not my unique idea once again, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I did. Um, if you like DIYs and, I don't know, hair videos and me just talking about things that I like to talk about, um, you can subscribe. It's free and I love validation, so... <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Song recommendation of the day is going to be Daphne Did It by Cleopatrick. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.